guys. Welcome to my channel. This is Brenda. Welcome. And if you have never um, watched one of my videos before, this is Planty Pants, and I pretty much talk everything about plants. How I grow them, the ones I like, the ones I don't like, what works, what doesn't work, where I get them, all that stuff. So um, I did a video um, a while back about how I propagate different plants. Um, then I got thinking about propagation and how much I love it. So I decided to go ahead and share different propagating vessels that I use because to be perfectly honest, um, I don't use these just for propagating. Sometimes they just live here months on end because I, I love the look. I just switch out the water every few weeks. I put a uh, liquid dirt in there, fertilize it, and they grow, they flower, they do all kinds of cool things. So I thought I'd share that with you. So um, I have a few different things to share, different vessels that I like to use, different things. Uh, first of all are, is this cute little hanging planter that I got at a craft store in Bar Harbor, Maine, I think. Um, and it just has like wire around, it's just a, it's just a bottle, not a screw top bottle, but a little small bottle. I'm not sure why that's there. Um, and it has wire around it that's twisted that just holds, you know, these two, this piece of rope. Um, and it just hangs. So here I have a couple of pieces of uh, golden pumpos that are rooting. Look at the roots. That tells you how long they've been in there. And I need to change the water, probably today. So there's one. I also like to use um, different kinds of jars, like when I burn a candle all the way down, if it's a nice thick glass, like you can get it like TJ Maxx or something, I like to keep those because they're really solid and um, once the candle's gone, I get the rest of the candle out and I like that's what this is, it's a little candle uh, holder that was made of glass. So in here I have a couple of pieces of Brazilian Lady. Um, begonia and I like the looks of that actually there are m many more pieces in here but it's really been kind of struggling uh, but you know they are rooting I will say with begonia when you root them you got to plant them after they don't like living in the roots I mean just in water they really don't so um, I'm probably gonna lose this piece because it looks terrible but I have others over here that I'll show you but so this is like a, a candle um, holder piece of glass I also use cute little um, mason jars, you know, like this is a mason jar mug. Um, these are a bunch of different pieces of pothos, but it looks like I have a couple of pieces of Cebu Blue in there that I put in there with nothing on them. They just were Cebu Blue cuttings, but you can see they're growing. Those are probably ready to go. There's four of them here and they're all growing new little leaves and a couple of pieces of pothos. Um, again, I need to change the water of this one. But I just love that look. It just sits on a shelf and it stays there forever. Pothos grow really well in water. Um, not so much the Cebu Blue. I also like to use um, old wine carafes for the larger plants, larger rooted plants. I have a really big piece of Monstera, wide form Monstera adansonii in here. And also I just stuck a piece of golden pothos in there because the roots are getting really long. long. But I like the looks of that. Um, it's a really rugged bottle really heavy, um, but it's really cool. And I don't even, I think when I bought this house 13 years ago, these were in the basement. They liked wine. These are old wine decanters. Um, so yeah, that's another thing that you can propagate in. I like the look of it. It looks cool, you know, on a, on a plant shelf or something. So this is just a regular mason jar with the rest of the um, Brazilian Lady Begonia. Let me get these out of the way. Um, these are doing much better. They're flowering right where they are. Isn't that a beautiful begonia? Look at that. You guys, when I, when I got this plant, I seriously got like two little pieces like this and it grew into this ginormous plant and was perfectly gorgeous for about six weeks and then it started just going crazy and I had to cut it all back. But, um, so that's just a regular mason jar. It loves it in there. All right, I also like to use, like these I bought actually for my mom, and my mom is no longer with me, but I bought this for her. She didn't do house plants, but um, I took care of it for her. Um, this is just one that I think I bought at Family Dollar. It's just cute. 
I have a, another um, wide format in Sony Eye in there that I'm rooting, and you can see the root loves it in there, totally loves it in there. Um, and you see the, the new growth right there on the top? So I think that's aesthetically pleasing. I like the way it looks. This hangs in my window. This hangs in my kitchen window, which I shared a couple of weeks ago, both of these on, on either side. The other one has like a, a butter, a sunset on it, a sunset, and it matches this butterfly. And then also, I love to use just little, um, little spice bottles. These are hard to come by, you guys. I gotta be honest, they're not cheap. If you try to buy them on, you know, on eBay or something, they're not cheap at all. So go to Goodwill or Salvation Army and they'll have them. Um, but on this, check this out. First of all, this is a cute little, I collect copper. So this is a cute little copper um, pitcher that I have it in. Look, she has been water in water, you can see, for a long, long time. And she decided to push out a flower, and there it is, the goldfish plant. Pretty cute, right? I know, I know, I love it. And I have a little piece of a string of turtles here too. No, string of hearts. So I like using little copper ornaments, copper vessels, like little pitchers, little creamers to put plants in. It's, it's, to me, I think it's cool looking. I just love growing plants in water. And like I said, it's not just propagating. They're growing in there and they're living there. So then in my bathroom, I don't know if you saw this. I have, this is a cute little one that my daughter gave me. It says Faith, because she knows that I love the Lord with all my heart. And this is just a little piece of Brazilian lady that's in this. This is my bathroom. Cute, blue, right? She probably got it at a craft fair or something, but I absolutely love it. And then the other one, um, I can't remember where I got this one either, but I probably got it at, you know, you, you can get this kind of stuff at Family Dollar, really. So here's a piece of uh, Monster Evan Sony Eye in here, it growing in the bathroom, rooting very well. So I just really like the look. I like the look of uh, hanging bottles. I just really do. I love, I love propagating. All right, so these are all the ones that I have. Oh, no, wait. My newest vessel is this. I totally love this. Look, Amazon had these, and they're shaped like little mushrooms. Um, and you can, there's a larger hole here so you can put your plants in. And there's a little teeny hole here, which I also stuck a plant in, although it doesn't look like it's doing very good. I'm going to have to put it farther. I'm going to I'm gonna have to cut the end of that off and put it farther in. But how cute is this? So I have a beautiful piece of, um, I'm not sure if it's pearls and jade. It almost looks like glacier. Look at some of these leaves. Look at this leaf right here. You tell me what that is. Is that a glacier? Man, oh man, it is lovely. It has, sort of looks like it has some silver in it. But anyways, how cute is this? So I have one of these on either side of my sink as well. Super cute. And when it grows up, I just clip it. See, I clip it like that, just to, you know, so it doesn't hang everywhere. Looks like I have a piece of, of uh, jade pothos in there too. I'm not doing very good. I'm gonna have to cut that back. Okay, so in my um, sunroom, stand by. In my sunroom, I made this, and all it is is little spice jars that I've had forever, and have all kinds of different things growing in here, all kinds. And to be honest, what I do is I just, you know, when I have a cutting, and if I'm busy and I can't pot it up or whatever, I stick it in here. Here's a little piece of string of turtles. Some golden pothos, some um, million heart plants. I love this plant. It is so, Dishidia, million hearts. And then another piece of pothos. And, ooh, that's not good. That's a goner. Um, so, you know, I just wrapped it. This is just regular twine that I bought, sort of like a wax twine. And I just wrapped the bottles around it and braided it up and wrapped the bottle around it and braided it up until I got six. I think I have six. If I were to do this again, you guys, I would um, make the bottles farther apart. I wish there was like at least an inch in between them, but I, well, there isn't this one. Yeah. Clearly I didn't do the math. 
Um, but it's kind of cute. It's a good place just to, if you're like me and you don't want to throw away little plant starts that you find laying around, which is a daily thing, um, make something like this so that you don't lose any of them. All right, hold on. Let me just put this back for a second. I'm going to change the water of these guys today. So try to be nice with my dirty water. So uh, last but not least, I'm going to take you into the kitchen and show you some propagating bottles that I found on eBay um, and how those are working. I love it. So stand by. Okay, so now I'm in my kitchen and I set these um, propagating bottles up um, a couple of months ago and I need to change the water probably today. Um, it's not that hard to do, but it's a little bit tricky. So take a look. Okay, so <clears throat> these are actually um, Ikea um, shelving, you know, and the little hooky things there. I've had them, but what I used to have hung up here is um, cast iron pans, but I, gave, I wasn't really using the cast iron pans, so I gave them to my daughter. You're welcome, Jesse. Um, anyway, so these bottles are actually spice rack bottles that I got on eBay and they came in like a bamboo container and there were 12 of them. So I think I have, um, I think I have 10 hanging here, but I just used twine and I tied them up so that they're pretty easy to come down or just untie them and they come right down. But I just love, it almost looks like a living wall in my kitchen. Let's see if I can back up enough to give you a good look. I just really love the way that that looks, um, and plus, it, the plants love it there. They really do. As you can see, I've got um, heartleaf philodendron, pothos, um, some adansonii, um, and apicia, which I love. It actually flowered right in that water. The root system is amazing. Hold on a minute. Let's see if I can show you the root system. Can you see it? It's doing well in there. A little um, Chattiscantia, which, you know, this actually flowered last week, too. Um, I have a uh, Berry Illusion Syngonium rooting in there nicely. But as you can see, they're all pretty happy. Their root systems are good. Look at this guy, the watermelon. Um, I don't know. Is it a Peperomiotes? Might be. I don't know. Watermelon something. And look at the roots there. Oops. Right? Another little piece of Apicia, piece of Ascindapsis. And again, I have this, this just started rooting because I had to pull the leaves off last week. But um, so here's just another idea of the way that you can use water propagation just to be aesthetically pleasing in your home. Ta da! Well, there you have it. Different ways, different methods to display your beautiful water propagations while they're growing. You can leave them there for months on end if you want to. That's what I do. I just love the way it looks. So it's more about propagating for me. It's about um, beauty and, oh, I don't know. I just love it. So um, that's it. I'm trying to keep these videos short and sweet. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. It would really help me out. I'm trying to make a go of this YouTube thing. You know what I'm saying? So. You guys have a great rest of your day, and God bless. We'll see you next time.